Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Science Thursday, we might have something exclusive. As you can see, I received a package from Rigol, critical uh, Express Blue Dart. Now, you and I, we're gonna have a secret that you're gonna act like I have not already opened this for my Hindi channel. So we're gonna move forward from that. So this is a new series of oscilloscope in the same series as basically this puppy, as in, this is what we call DHO814. Now, this is a surprisingly successful uh, series. Basically, you can see they are very thin, USB-C powered. And yes, you can power it with a battery bank as long as it's a very highly power rated, like normal uh, 22 watt rated, that's not gonna cut it. You do need something like 60 or maybe 100 uh, to do it uh, adequately. It is available, it's just that bit of extra step. Uh, and it was like very big jump because it went from eight uh, bit resolution from the last generation to 12. Compact, efficient. Now here's the deal, uh, I had the luxury of talking with the people who are working in Rigol and the uh, idea was uh, there are two classes of oscilloscopes like these puppy starter oscilloscopes very good very functional and uh, if you're just starting out really good bang for buck and again Rigol does have a good reputation and they do make a good stuff specifically the software also so it's a good stuff really good but here's the paradox what if you want to work with higher frequency and then there comes a paradox there is a completely upper end which is like you know 10 gigahertz 20 gigahertz those puppies are used for like you know silicon development and all that but they are so expensive they do not even have a price tag they are like get quote and in my talks uh, yeah they specified the prices are ludicrous they make ferrari look cheap so yeah those are expensive but here's deal what if you are dealing with something like a hdmi or high uh, frequency signaling those are sub gigahertz so but this will generally start at 50 and go upwards of 250 300 maybe so you need something like that so this box supposed to have a solution for that and Let's open it up. Assume I am cutting it here. Okay, so ta da! So this is Rigol system. Now again, this was packed for uh, basically unboxing and all that. So I do not know whether you guys gonna get it on this because again, this is a flat. Uh, what you call limited edition model. So I'm not sure whether you guys are gonna, gonna get it. Nothing much else came into the box. So we're gonna put that aside. And in this, uh, they gave basically a logic analyzer. Yes, this puppy does come with logic analyzer. You get a 16 channel. So you have zero to 15 uh, color tags, lot of clips and uh, wires for uh, basically pigtails and all that. And then you have the main event which is uh, basically this will go into your oscilloscope and this will go into your uh, Arduino or something like that whatever you want to work on so good stuff which again I'm kind of pleased with this 16 so there is a very good chance you can almost analyze everything so that is there let's keep that aside and now let's uh, look into this buy <laughs> I do think this should come uh, by default for uh, basically people who are getting the limited edition and uh, it's like type of a backpack, but not really. It's too small for that, but uh, let's dive deep into it. And let's open it up. So here uh, they have provided uh, stuff, basically power brick. Now the last series of power bricks uh, was, hold on. Light on power bricks, a genuinely decent company, but this puppy was only able to go up to 20 volt to 3.25 amps, meaning uh, this was not full spec power delivery 3.1. This time the power has been upgraded because again we are talking about some heavy puppy. So uh, where is the adapter? Where the heck is the adapter? Huh? Oh, yeah, there's the adapter. So this is same a light on adapter, but you can say this is a bit chungus adapter compared to the smaller puny one. Thankfully, they both have the same uh, jack. Although I think this came from China, so they gave UK port for some reason, or maybe China uses this uh, UK port. But thankfully, because again, uh, the AC side is intercompatible. I already have a Indian plug for this variant. So this is uh, this goes up to twenty volt. 5 amps so this does support the full uh, usb3 uh, specification 100 watts so yeah this is a powerful puppy meaning you can actually charge almost majority of laptop with this without any actual hassle like 
most likely even looks like a laptop <laughs> uh, puppy. So yes, uh, it is also compatible with a USB power brick, but again, now you need a very high powerful power brick to uh, work with that. And this time they're also providing wireless USB adapter. This is exclusive to English channel. It was not in my uh, Hindi channel because I did not find it. So that's there. Now let's open uh, the puppy up. Ta-da! The bag is very unique. I have to say it has a freaking USB port and you're supposed to put uh, your power bricks inside and plug these things in. I don't know why, but you might want to do it. So that is there. And Ta-da! This is the puppy. This is MHO98 limited edition. I got BETA11. I'm very high up in the line if I got this. Uh, and again, the back is very, what you call, uh, translucent. So it's like a lot of people gonna love it. It's a very open, like you can almost see the circuit. The fans are huge. I'm, I'm pretty sure the fan is uh, noticeably larger than the last generation. Yeah. Yup, fan is noticeably larger, which does make sense given the fact that now you are uh, trying to run up to one gigahertz. That's almost fast enough that you can use Wi-Fi Halo directly on this. Uh, so, and be mindful, even HDMI only goes up to 350 megahertz or some of them are goes up to 400 megahertz. So this is really powerful, like one, uh, four giga samples per second, 12 bit resolution. Basically imagine this puppy uh, and imagine it took steroids. So this is a huge one. And again, this is full featured, as you can see, it also has logic analyzers and 16 channel log logic analyzer. So there is no slouch there. On the back, you can see it has that normal uh, ethernet, uh, your LAN, oh, sorry, uh, USB power, uh, sorry, USB data, and then you have HDMI output, and then you have USB-C power delivery. So that is there, but this, again, it also has aux output and signal generator. This puppy has two signal generator. So far more, uh, what you call, feature reached compared to the bare minimum of DHO814. Four channels, 16 and and knobs are really, knobs almost feel like metal. Again, either it's a very good plastic or like a really good looking metal. Uh, so this is the whole thing. Let's uh, just uh, start it up. Again, this is not in-depth uh, review. It's more of like, you know, getting the ball rolling, so to say. So, oh. Let's connect the USB-C here and then, okay, then let's connect the, this is what I meant. I already have the AC plug sorted for Indian market, so I can directly plug it in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Done. I really wish power brick used to come with like, you know, red, red or green LEDs, but it is what it is. Yep, I have to say the fan is a bit more pronounced here, but is this to be expected? <laughs> I can actually read the uh, PCB man, like I'm not even joking, like the translucent is actually lightweight enough where you can read the PCB and all that. <laughs> I can see the coin cell battery here, hmm. like you can actually see it, it's unique. I am, I'm pretty sure it will take a sweet time to boot up, but this was the exclusive first look at D, oh, D, uh, not DHO, MHO98 limited edition. Be mindful, there would be a 900 series which will just have a non-limited edition. But this is cool, like if you find some cool looking scientific instrument, this puppy is cool looking, I have to say. Very cool looking. Oh, it's gonna take a sweet time to start and all that. Although I have to say, like uh, this sort of equipment creates a paradox in price. Basically, uh, same way this is 12, uh, what you call 12 bit, this is also 12 bit. Uh, but like this is very, what you call, limited, as in like uh, does not have signal generator. Eh, may, many people may not need it. It does not have a basically logic analyzer. Eh, people may not need it. Does not have one gigahertz. Mm. But again, what if you pay the price? Like price gap between these two is not that huge. Hopefully, I have talked with Raigal people and they should provide me uh, to buy link. Uh, so, you should be able to purchase it. The price gap is not 2x. It's not that big, so to say, practically speaking. So, at that point in time, bandwidth per dollar, this is like good. Like, good, good. So, I'm like, 
you are getting logic analyzer, you are getting two signal generator, and uh, you know all the bells and whistles. Like, how do you justify this? Now again, I understand. Like, if you are tight on budget, which I was, that's why I have this. Uh, <laughs> how do you like you know deal with that? So that's a unique proposition, so to say. As you can see, this is working. Uh, the probes. Uh, so this type of probe came. I will give a close up. Don't worry about that. So probe was RP thirty five. 100A, 10 is to 1 probe, 10 mega ohm, 13 picofarads for 1 mega ohm, 6 picofarad inputs, 300 volt CAT2 rated. So just, uh, just for sanity sake, let's just uh, connect this puppy. Ta-da! Let's uh, do the mandatory signal test. Let's do auto. Yep. As you can see, that normal square wave is there. Oh, be mindful. Whenever you are dealing with this sort of USB-C oscilloscope, they will generally give you an independent uh, earthing probe that will go on the back of here. It will go here. Same in this also. So be mindful of those things. Like if you are really working with something very sensitive, uh, stray or basically floating earthing is not desirable, you have to utilize this sort of puppy. Uh, it's available. I think this is bit different. So, so this was the unboxing. Now uh, I'm gonna give you a small montage close-ups and hopefully some screen captures also, and then we're gonna go from there. This is a demonstration of the logic analyzer, as this is a memory in pixel display. It is very unique, uh, sharp memory in pixel display. So you can see. I think it may be still working. Yeah. As you can see, it's a very unique display. So I'm driving this from uh, SIP bus uh, from ESP32. So I have ground, I have uh, basically chip select, uh, clock and um, uh, basically data. They are going into this. Now be mindful, uh, ground, uh, all the lower row is ground and it's locked as you can see in this system. And then you connect this puppy to here and ta-da, you can see the actual data. Now uh, this chart you can see, it actually shows full data. And the good part is, if you plug a USB here, you can very easily basically go here, go to decode and there you'll get export uh, button. If you set these settings right, uh, you can export it uh, into your USB pen drive. So that way you can do this and uh, although because this is a bit uh, unorthodox use of uh, the SIP protocol, it's not normal um, because again this device is unique. If I had some normal device, I2C square bus, those would be very easily decoded but in this will not be decoded uh, that well because again it's a very unique system. But this is how you can use the basically logic analyzer and the decoding function to get all the information you need and it's quite uh, robust and you can even use analog uh, channels if you are finding some uh, weird issue that generally happens if you have some interference from some other issue <laughs> Thank you.